All right, so let's have a quick look here. So this, we have our characterized um, walk from the motion capture. So there we go. So I'm going to set this. I don't need this at minus 10 anymore, so I'm going to set this to 0. There we go. And there's our complete motion capture. There we go. Walk back and forth. That's fine. It can probably use a bit of cleanup, but I'm going to live with it the way it is right now. So what if we just want a portion of this? So this is where this idea of takes come from. You can have different animation on different layers, basically. So, um, so right now, I have one active layer, which is this, contains this entire mocap. What if I want to do something else? What if I want to create a new animation that maybe just contains just a short bit of the animation, something like from here to here. So this is where we can use a couple of the tools within Motion Builder, such as the story mode. So once this is saved, so this is characterized and saved. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just do a quick save. So this is full, OK, uh, Gosha mocap. So there you go. So that's just letting it know that I've characterized it. I'll call, put CRZ for characterization. There you go. Now it saves this take with it. So that's the take. I'm going to save that as it is. So there we go. So that should work fine. Now if I come into story mode here, what I can do is I can create a new, so I'm just right clicking here. I'm going to create a new character animation track, okay? Now, so I still have this take. There's everything there, right? Now, if I do a new take, look at this, very good. And I'm just going to say I don't want anything in it. There we go. So if I play this, I still have my skeleton there, but there's really, really nothing there. So let's do this. I should be able to use this as a character. There's still no animation. But I should be able to refresh this. There we go. I'm going to refresh this. Got that CRZ in it, and watch this. So I sort of just drag this in, and there we go. Hit F, I can highlight it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go through this quickly. I'm going to find where I want my walk to start. So there we go. There's comes in. So there's sort of our first walk bit there. There we go. I'll start from there. And I have some tools very much like video editing. I can use the razor tool, which I don't like to use when video editing. There we go. But And I'll just get to the end of this walk cycle here, or the, where I want to make a walk cycle from. There we go. So he gets to the end. I want to get it before she turns. So last good step is probably there. Again, I'll just use the razor tool. There we go. So we just really want that little bit. Now we're in story mode, so story mode controls what's going on here. Now I should be able to put a zero there. There we go. So that goes to frame zero. Press F. And now I've got this thing nicely highlighted. There we go. Yeah, there we go. So, so I'm in this take 002. So what I can do now is I can take this, plot this to the current take. There we go. So let's take this animation and put it in the current take. All right. I'm just going to go ahead and plot it. And I'll explain what plotting is in just a minute. Just taking what I've done here, I'm going to go ahead and plot it. So there we go. Now I don't need this anymore, so I can turn off this character animation track. Because the information should be inside the take now. There we go. All right. So I can actually get rid of that, get rid of that, come back in here. And there's my take. So I have two takes here. So what I can do is rename this, then come in here, mocap. 
walk by Gosha. There you go. Short walk. Okay. So there we go. And now, so we have this take. Okay, now look at this. We have more animation. If we go back over here, there's all of our animation there. So that's quite a long take. And I come to this take here. And what I could do is I could, if I want to just save this bit, so remember, it's characterized, so I don't need the T-pose and everything. So what I can do is now I can now save as, okay? So this is walk only, okay? Now, I only want this walk thing. So there we go. There it is. That's what I'm going to do. So that should be fine. But let me save my working file. Let's do save as all. No cap all with walks. Okay, there you go. Just saving that. I'll save both takes this time so I can come back to these. So if you look in my FBX directory, there we go. I'm just going to refresh this. There's walk only. So the nice thing of it is I can come back to this file if I want to. And I just have a directory that I keep my FBXs in. There we go. So I can load it from here. There we go. Mocap walk. So I know what that is. I want that. So look at this. That's all I have is just that walk. And the nice thing of it is I can use that file. So if I want to come in here and say bring my gremlin in for a second. I can now come into story mode. I'll throw a character animation track in there. Let's use the gremlin. I can come back to my FBXs now. So this is the walk only. There we go. Let's throw that in there. Now this needs some work and some cleanup work. There you go, I have a nice little walk there. Just the walk, or if I wanted all the animation, I could, I could do both. So that's an introduction here to using the story mode, okay? And taking a look at takes and how valuable they are.